30 plus bags. Had to pile them up a little bit. Got a little suitcase up there. We're set. Need some corn? We're riding dirty. We're riding a little low right there. Had to finish filling up gas. Only $12. Oh, just a little bit left. Other than that, we're set. Alrighty. You gotta get a little gas in it before the trip, you know. Trip. Now we're gonna be pushing. We got four hours. A little four hour trip ahead of us. Um, from here to Big Lake. It's supposed to be some pretty good weather. Expecting lows in the 40s, highs uh, in the mid 60s. So we'll definitely uh, see how it goes. Hopefully we don't end up getting in too late. Mm -hmm. um, but hoping we run across some good elk and some good all dad. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. We'll see uh, how the trip ends up faring. Hopefully luck's on our favor and we can knock some down. We brought the elk call, right? Yeah, yeah, we should. Uh, we're gonna see. We've been practicing this elk call. Hopefully yeah. uh, we can call it just right and at least get one in. All, all it takes is one. So we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. We got, you know, we got definitely a good little drive ahead of us. We'll get out there. We gotta stop and grab some grub, a couple snacks. We haven't eaten yet today, so that'll put a little kink in the road and make sure we get a full tank before we get going. See you guys in a bit. Texas go-to fast food pit stop. A little water burger. Ain't nothing like nights. a what a burger. We just got here to the ranch. It's a little nipply outside. We're actually just gonna pack up, put everything in the RV. Try to put everything up as fast as we can. And once we're all done with that, we'll go to bed because we have to wake up pretty early tomorrow morning. Sweet home. We made it. Welcome to the hunting lodge. You know, you know you're at the real lodge when you got a real drink. <laughs> <laughs> See this side over here. Always have to be prepared. The king sweet. Since we usually have a lot of people come over, hunting, oh. friends, family. Bringing this light out here so we can have a better view of everything. While we're walking around and hopefully not stepping on yeah, some nasty plants like this with I don't know if y'all can see that. But with huge thorns. I know you don't want that going in your foot. That's the only reason. Looky there. Perfect. It's gonna be the fire tomorrow. Tomorrow night, we have the pit. He's just going over there to make sure it starts. Because we haven't been here in a while, so. Just gotta make sure everything's looking the way it is. Make sure everything's running properly over there. Oh, life. 
like no. Do y'all hear that purr? Wow. Fired right up. It's gorgeous. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. Time to pack everything up. for a few hours. I found a lot of white tail. Some javelina popped out. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get our eyes on a elk. So we ended up coming to some, some new valleys. We're on top of this hill, trying to walk, get to the edge of this main hill area. We're gonna glass for a little bit keep on walking, maybe go to the next hill, hit up the valley on the other side, maybe come over here on this right side, hit that valley, see if we can spot an elk. in the area she has been eating some Pringles Dang, who would have thought that this could have been so fun a nice picnic while you're glassing Skilled she is. Alright, so we came down the hill about 20 yards to get set up. As soon as everybody got down, she got set up on the backpack. Probably just decided to walk slowly to the ground. Out of the path. Uh, 480. No, it Four, wasn't. It was 500. 500. <laughs> Where'd he go? Dropped him in its track. You shot. He's kicking. Straight through him. The dust blew right behind him. For real? Where's he at, though? You see the body laying you down. See him? Take him. Left one. Take him. One ready. Take him. Oh, great fucking.
fucking shot. Easy 500 yard shot. So whatever. I'm it not hit, even a three foot javelina. Whatever it hit when it hit down like that, there must have been a rock right behind it. Because then look, you see the bullet skip and hit almost right here. It hits back here. Yeah. See? Oh yeah. Oh. That's wild. <laughs> Damn. It went straight through him then. Oh yeah, it's mm -hmm. 300 wind mag. It's a little tiny animal. You'll see. Yeah, I've never shot a javelina. Like I've never even big. shot a hog. I couldn't shoot a hog at, at 30 yards. Yo I know. You shoot this freaking javelina. Look, 500. Oh. Alrighty, guys. So, outstanding shot by Shannon Bass. 500 yard shot. Uh, we had to adjust a number of times. They kept going up and down the sendero. Uh, we were initially looking at about a 540 yard shot. And then it deviated to 480. Then they went back up to 500. Nonetheless, though, Leopold has an outstanding optic that I would highly, highly recommend. It is truly worth its weight in gold. I've traveled to Alaska, um, Africa, Canada, Wyoming, and uh, many other parts throughout the country. Um, I would highly, highly recommend, you know, best bang for your buck. If you can save a few extra pennies uh, going with the VX6HD by Leopold um, with the CDS dial. And CDS stands for Custom Dial System. Uh, so basically, with, that's this system right here. As you can see, it's got the information specific to the ballistics that I've um, been utilizing out of my 300 win and which rounds shoot most accurately out of. So we had the dial turn here at the top. Most dial turns, like any, you know, quarter MOA, whatever the case may be. This one here with the custom dial system, you send Leopold all your ballistics, all your information, your weapon, and your roundage, and they will create a turret specific to where each turn is now a turn of yardage. Um, you'll see within here, it's got the varying yardage, 200, 300, 400, it's halfway point, uh, you know, two to 300 to 350 mark, and each indicating line in between. As, of course, you increase in yardage, those ticks, too, respectively increase. So you always want to know what you're working with and what the distance for each tick is. Um, knowing that and being prepared for what that is for your specific weapon and your specific CDS is going to make you a lot more successful when you're out in the field and make 500-yard shots seem like they're just 100 yards away. That's my recommendation. You know. Feel free to leave a comment on what you guys use, and hey, I'll definitely look into it. How do you feel, Edna? <laughs> Great. Is that your uh, first long distance shot? That's my first long distance shot, yeah. So then what's the furthest you shot? 300. 300 yards? 380. Live animal or target? Live animal. It was a, a white tail last oh, year. Oh, yeah, I do. That's right. That. Uh-huh. Yep. One up did now 200 yeah. yards, and what did you shoot at? Uh, what did you shoot at 500 yards? What animal did you take? Javelina. 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 Never Javelina. shot a javelina before. Never shot. When I first started shooting, I couldn't even shoot 30 yards at a hog. <laughs> yeah, previous now I'm over to all here doing this. 500. <laughs> Definitely awesome. It's a good feeling for sure. We'll go get it and see what's going on. Like I said, this thing hasn't been driven in a while. You can tell by all the dust that's on here. Just a bit dusty, but she still works like a champ. That's all that matters. Works like a brand new GMC. Feels like it's 65. That's because, you know, soft tech's AC. 65 will get degrees big, outside. Big carol. I'm trying to get everything done before the sun goes down. We'll see. You might think that we're going 50 plus miles an hour, but. Only 30. The road's a little dusty. Nothing like a back road. <laughs> we're going oh, we got something in the road. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we've been needing to fix that. We need to fix that <laughs> the next round. Yeah, there's a big tire the in the yeah. middle of the road. <laughs> <laughs> Warren, guys, we're going to be in good shape. Nine and three. Well, there it is. Knocked it down. Nice bad boy. Oh! Yep, right in the freaking neck. Shoulder right, right there. In the neck. That's the it exit is. wound. So it came like right here. Right here somewhere. 
Mm -hmm. Right through. Right through the other side. That's okay. There it is. We're gonna put a. He was positive. Oh, he's got some jumpers. Oh, yeah. Ooh, wee. Damn, how are you gonna see it? <laughs> They already broke. Here, flip it to the other side. <laughs> Corona Havelin. Havelin. Now she has to do the honors to throw it in the back. Careful, don't put too close. It's going to bleed on you. That. It's big and heavy. <laughs> Who would have thought? A little Havelin. Careful, don't use a big head. Swing it. You got it. You got it. Swing it up there. <laughs> no! <laughs> Almost! Alright, let me reverse it and do it. That was heavy! That's <laughs> now. Another great morning. It's actually windier today, so it may feel a little colder. Hopefully, help move the animals. It's 55 see. right now, regular, without the wind chill. Hopefully, get some nice temps. We just moved to a different valley to see what we can find out here. Man, you and me both. I didn't mean to cuss on the when I was filming it, but man, I was so pumped for her. I was like, hot damn, hell yeah. Man, I mean, did he have, did he, uh, did the Havelina have any pups or anything? Oh, yeah. Dude, man, it's got some razor sharp teeth. I'll send you a picture of them. It's a, they're at least about maybe two, three inches. Shit, you gonna mount them? We'll probably do a Euro, see, what, see how it looks. Yeah, I mean, nah, I got some badass, badass, uh, old hogs on my face. Yeah, they turn out really nice. You did a uh, Euro or what'd you do? I'll take a picture of it and I'll send it to you. All right, yeah, send it on over. Oh, yeah, because it's the whole skull, you know, all bleached out and everything. I oh, got okay. two of them on my safe that I killed like that. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. You may think that coming out of deer hunting, sitting in the truck isn't tiring, but when you have to wake up at 5 in the morning every day after going to bed at 1, 2 o'clock, you this end up getting a little tired. Is the result. Not even a pillow, just a hard console <laughs> laying down on your hand. Extra rough dirt road. Passed out. Seven bags. First feeder we're going to, we're about to hit our second one after this. If you are wondering why we drive such an old truck, 1999 truck, it's because a wise old man once told us this. You don't own an official ranch truck until you got to get out like this. Oh yeah, safety features and all. Perfect. Child proof. It may look like it's already open, but it's not. Trust me, it's closed all the way. <laughs> Second feeder.
Bro, you dirt. To the right? Uh huh. Get ready when that one turns. Hit it. Okay, I got you. You're live. All right. Yeah, what are you shooting right here? All right, I got the Hoyt Hyperforce, True Glow Sight, no pin. We got a nice little True Glow. See your little sight here. Little arrow rest. You like that? Ooh, yeah, fancy. Real fancy, like fancy. Right there. All right. Let's see how this, see what see you how got. Likes this right here. Let's go here a little bit further to the left. I don't shoot my door. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right, hang on, let me zoom all the way down so you see the target we got. All right, little piggly wiggly. Okay, wait, your, your blue thing isn't on. It'll be on, don't worry. Are you sure? It'll turn on. All right, fire one ready. Bam! Hell yeah! Got him. Perfect shot. Right there. <laughs> right in here. Right? Yeah, we heard him expire right there. I mean, you saw the hit. There he is, right there. Adam. Oh, there. Nice. First kill with the bow. Nice. 